what's up everybody welcome to another video and in this video we'll be solving the next problem which is plus minus so let's read the problem given an array of integers calculate the fractions of its elements that are positive negative and are zeros print the decimal value of each fraction on a new line okay this challenge introduces precision problems hmm. okay i get it the test cases are scaled to six decimal places though answers are Though answers with absolute error of up to 10 power minus 4 are acceptable. For example, given the array ARR equals 1, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 1, there are 5 elements, 2 positive, 2 negative, and 1, 0. Their ratios would be 2 by 5. Okay, I get it. Okay, so you would be given an array, and you would be given a bunch of numbers in there. Some of them would be positive, some of them would be negative, and some of them would be 0. Now you have to count how many positive numbers, how many negative numbers, and how many zeros are in there. You have to store all those counts in variables, and then you have to um, print the positive number, the number of positive numbers, divided by the total number of numbers in the array, and you have to do the same thing for a negative number and also the zeros in the list. So what I mean by that is, for example, here you have 1, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 1. So you have two positive numbers. These are the two ones. The total number of numbers in the array or the length of the array is 5. So you have to print 2 by 5 first, which is 0 0.4. And you have to print a bunch of zeros after that. And we can see that there is a total of six numbers after a point. So we have to take care of that when we code in Python uh, because by default it's going to it's not it's not going to print all these zeros it's only going to print 0 0.4 okay now next you have to print the negative numbers divided by the total numbers so that would be 2 divided by 5 because you have two negative numbers here and then since you have only one zero you have a 1 divided by 5 which is 0 0.2 and a bunch of zeros after that so and you have to do that on separate lines. Okay, so in the first line of input, you would be given the number of integers, which is, okay. So the first line contains an integer n, denoting the size of the array. The second line contains n space separated integers to describing an array of numbers. Okay, easy. We, we've already done that, so we don't, have to, we don't have to worry about that. That's gonna be easy. Okay, the next part, output. You must print three for the following three lines, a decimal representing of the fraction of positive numbers, then negative, then zeros. Okay. So like for example here, you have an example here, six meaning six numbers, minus four, three, minus nine, zero, four, one. You have two negative numbers, three positives, and one negative, or I mean one zero. So you would have to do one, two, three positive. Since you have three positive, you would have to do 3 divided by 6 because there are 6 numbers in total so you print 0 0.5000000 first then since there are two negative numbers you have to print 2 divided by 6 which is 0 0.33333 infinite times but you only have to print it 6 times and then number of zeros divided by total numbers which is 1 divided by 6 which would be 0 0.16666 and you have to round this off okay okay i got it so let's go ahead and delete all this code that's written for us because we don't need we don't need that the first line would be n is equal to int input and this doesn't really matter because we don't need it in python in other languages you we would like c or c plus plus then we have to take a list as input so we would do list app int you guys are probably already getting used to this so i don't have to explain this stuff anymore so but anyway let me do it again so we are taking the input, so it would be a string. This entire thing would be input as a string. We are splitting it, so by default it splits wherever there is a space. So since we have all these spaces, all these would be characters and it would be a list of these characters. But since we have to deal with integers, we would have to convert all these characters into integers. That's why you, we are using the map function, which is mapping all these characters to the int function which converts all the all the characters into the into into integers and then you are converting the map object into a list okay so let's store that into a variable called as error okay now we would have to iterate through all the elements of the array and we would have to keep count of positive negative and zero so let's do pass is equal to zero which means the number of negative positive numbers then we would do neg equals to zero and zero is equal to zero 
So initially all of these would be set to zero because right now we haven't found any numbers yet. Then we will do for number in ARR and you would see if number is greater than zero that means that it is positive so we would do plus is equal to plus is equals one that means we are incrementing pass by one and we would do else if or elif number less than zero we would do neg plus equal to zero or one right and else if there are neither if the number is neither positive nor negative then it must be zero so we would say zero this is equal to 1 and then what we have to do is we have to print we have to print three things so we would do that flash n that flash n and that okay and then we would do format and here we would write pass divided by and then you need to okay now you can divide it by n yeah so you can simply use that one here and then you have to do neg divided by n and here you would do 0 divided by n. So, but this is not going to work, but we can still run it and see that it's not working. And I'll tell you why. So, we are going to run it. Our output is that. Oh, it's accepting that. Okay, so that's the expected output, but it's still accepting that. I see. Hmm. Okay, so my output is, my output is 0 0.375 and it should... It's, it, it's not matching with 0 0.375 triple zero, but it's still accepting that. I see, that's interesting. Now let's submit that code. Let's see. Okay, all the test cases are passing. Awesome, wow, <laughs> I didn't expect that. But anyway, let's get the exact results. So when we run this, let me show you how to get exact number of decimal places as you want in Python, how, how you can do that, let me show you. So when we run this code, we can see that, come on, run. <laughs> okay, so we are getting 0 0.5 and nothing after that. But what if we only wanted, we did want six places of decimal. So what we can do here is inside the curly braces here, we can say colon, we can say 0.6f. That means that we want six floating points. And that's why you're writing it after a point because that's the number of decimal, that's the number of uh, places you want so you ha you can write 6f there also you can do point colon 6f there also here you can do colon 6f and if you run it now it should match exactly with the expected output so now you can see that it's matching exactly with the output 166667 okay so it's matching perfectly also in this case it would match Okay, so here my output is 0 0.375 and not three zeros, but here it is three zeros. Interesting. Okay, that's because I didn't write F here. Okay, I got it. Now if you run this, it should match perfectly every single time. Okay, that's perfect. So, but the, pre but the previous code was working too, so you could use that one or you could do this one. But this was like a lenient problem, I mean lenient checker, because it was still giving us points even though we did not exactly match the output. So, but if you, but if it had been a stricter one, it wouldn't let you pass the test unless you get exactly the output that it wants. So, you can do that using the precision thing we did here. Okay, so that's the solution for this problem, and in the next video we'll solve the next problem. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.